y'all i gave i gave birth february 11th it's february 20th and i still can't do the number two i love you and all your bad friends boo let's go to turps i don't want your insta or your snapchat add me on your finsta or you so I'm about to go in the kitchen and take some castor oil and hopefully this gets my butt, I mean my stomach going. At the doctor they told me give it a few more days and then go get this over the counter medicine. But I can't give it a few more days. Like I feel constipation so bad. Nothing to drink in my house. Like I don't got no juices. I ran out so I'm just going to have to do it with water. And we just going to see how it goes. Oh, when I was pregnant and I was taking the castor oil to like go into labor. It was so nasty, but I had like soda, I had a smoothie, I had so much stuff. But right now, all I got is water, and we finna do it. I got it the oil that I have. I got it from Publix, this is how it look. And then a tablespoon, I'm so scared. Y'all ready? Last time, the last time I did it, it was like, Making me regurgitate. This shit tastes so bad, bro. Sorry, as if I be this good. Bro. Bro. Okay, me and my baby finna go to sleep and stuff like that. So I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow because we're going to the birth certificate office and doing stuff tomorrow. So I'll be with you guys tomorrow and I'll let you guys know tomorrow if I poop. Good morning, guys. It's the next day and um I'm about to be headed to the birth certificate office because I have to fix my baby's birth certificate I need to put the address the address correctly because they put the address of my that was on my driver's license which is the wrong address so I got to go change that and then edit some stuff on her birth certificate and then get it and then after that I'm gonna come back home and I ordered the little t well it's like I found the dresser from TikTok but I ordered it off of Amazon for way cheaper than it was on TikTok because TikTok has cheap prices but then once you put it in a car and then try to pay for it shipping is where they get you like third dollar shipping fifty dollar shipping who's doing that no so I got it off of Amazon and it's coming today I'm so excited because we don't have we don't have a dresser so I finally got a dresser to put the clothes my clothes in and my boyfriend clothes in so I'm very excited about that don't mind how I look I know my hair look crazy but we came here for no reason because the address is wrong don't come here to get your birth certificate because if you come here they're going to tell you to go somewhere else and it's just ghetto y'all say hi to essence essence say hey. don't mind her clothes right now okay she had peed on herself and i was in a rush to get where i had to go and this was the only onesie left in the thinky like because look let me show you what we got going on in here so first of all, this is my bed. I'm finna clean my house up right now. But this is my bed. I was trying to find her footprints for the birth certificate. But I was in a rush and I didn't want to be late because I know that if you're late, then like you got to wait and then reschedule and do all that stuff. You you, you don't do walking. So I was trying to hurry up. I should have got it out last night, but I thought the folder was just going to be right in the dresser and I could grab it. But I don't know. But I'm going to clean up. And then this is the hamper with the clothes in it because I'm waiting on the, dr the dresser to come. So this was the quickest little onesie. Look, my baby even got on Mitch Matt socks. She just... She just look like she going through it. I'm going through it too, bro. Like, it's just a lot. But say hey to my baby. I just finished feeding her. I'm going to rock her to sleep so I can clean my apartment and stuff like that. Um, I'm having a rough time right now, y'all. I know my nose is running from crying. This is why, like, I don't know. Look at my baby. She finna tap out. I feel like when you have like a baby young i don't know why but it just seems like everybody just feel like you're not gonna make it like i don't know how they spend like you're just gonna be struggling or something or like you messed up your life or something i don't i don't know i feel like having a baby young changes your life but it doesn't mess it up and i just feel like this is why i didn't tell nobody my business in the first place because all the negativity like i don't need that like you feel me i don't need that i don't need all the assumptions everybody telling me how they feel or what they think like it's just too much and honestly today was really not i thought 
feel like yesterday was my breaking point low key but like today was really my breaking point like if you're not here for team essence and michaela my boyfriend team essence michaela and stanley then oh well like i don't i don't have the mental capacity to keep on going back and forth trying to shut the record straight tell people how it is tell people how it's not like no and then it's just like everybody make it seem like because i had a baby like i failed and it's like no i didn't it's so much more to life like the ones who call somebody that had a baby and just run their mouth like it's okay to tell somebody you're proud of them like it's okay to tell them like something positive instead of this that and the third and just everything as it is as a whole <sighs> i don't want to put my business on here so yeah my advice to anybody who's a team mom or anybody in my position that i'm in stay encouraged you got to stay encouraged by yourself because if you wait for other people to encourage you or you wait for other people to tell you that you're doing a good job or they proud of you you're gonna be waiting forever I don't know, but I don't want to keep crying. I'm going to clean my kitchen. I started cleaning my kitchen, but then my baby started crying. I had washed all these dishes, so now they're clean. They just got to dry, and I probably will hand dry them or let them air dry. I just got to clean my stove. Like, my house is not that messy, to be honest. And I got this last pot to do. My room is the messiest part. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Try to fly, nigga, can't even see me on way out of here, I'm too far in the sky. Heard me as ash for the dark, my ash. Bitch, so pretty, little better than Cassie. Puffin' on Zooters and she callin' me daddy. Walkin' on shit, turn it up at night. This is my kitchen, nice and cleaned up, y'all. I just finished cleaning up my kitchen. Um, the only thing is, my boyfriend gonna do this trash. I don't do the trash, so. Just finna sit here till he do that. And then I got our sheets washing, well, our comforters. And then I'm gonna wash our sheets next. And then this is my living room, cause I don't got no couch yet. So yeah, I just lined my baby stuff up. And then I just got a knock at the door. So I'm assuming it's my Amazon dresser. Well, and it is. My Amazon dresser is here. My boyfriend gonna have to bring this in. This is heavy. I'm excited, guys. I got school. Oh shoot, my door. I got school. I put my baby down to go to sleep, but I have school in 30 minutes. Well, I don't even think it's 30 minutes. I think I got school in like the next 10 minutes. So I'm going to log on to school. And then once I'm done, done with school, that's when I'm going to put the clothes in the dresser. So yeah. I'm literally in class, guys. And I just told everybody that I had a baby. And why are they in this chat talking about some congratulations? I'm so embarrassed. I don't know why. I don't like the attention. <laughs> Look at the room show y'all. I'm not gonna show my teacher, but well, she kinda in it. But look at this, y'all. Y'all see the comments? Congratulations. <laughs> Let me say thank you to not be rude. LOL. My baby knocked out again. <laughs> it means I haven't pooped in like two weeks or something, right? Yeah. This is just ghetto. And these freaking CVS, well, the castor oil didn't work. It worked the, It worked when I, while I was pregnant, remember? When I was pregnant and I took castor oil, I was able to poo. But, I don't know, but these little um, stool softeners, nothing is working and I really need to use the bath. Well, I don't need to use the bathroom, but I want to be able to use the bathroom. If no sleep was a person, that would be freaking me. Like, yo, I cannot get no rest. Like this last day, I don't understand. So anyways, like I was saying, it's 7.59 in the freaking morning. First of all, I lost two nails. That's how rough my night was. But anyways, it's 7.59 in the morning. Since I been pregnant, I only woke up this early for school and work. Like, shit, I just dropped my keys, bro in the pile of water like what is life right now i'm just going through it right now okay so i made it to walmart and i think i was in the middle of explaining like what's going on and what's tea so what's going on is basically that my baby last night essence she would not stop crying i don't know what 
why she was so cranky but she would not stop crying like i fed her everything she was just crying i had to rock her to sleep and then every time i don't know why he's looking at me every time i try to put her in the bed she literally would not stop crying like she kept crying kept crying kept crying the whole night y'all like when i say the whole night it's literally been the whole freaking night stressing me out like so bad then her dad was trying to rock her to sleep too and she was doing the same thing like then when i finally got her to like sleep i put her down thinking like okay she's been sleeping in my arms for like an hour she should be good as soon as i put her down she started crying but that's not why i'm at walmart that's why i couldn't get no sleep i'm at walmart because i have a bad let me not be loud but i have a bad ass uti and i need to get this shit fixed asap no fucking rocky so i'm at walmart to handle this pain when i urinate is so freaking unbearable it's really crazy I never had a UTI this bad before in my life, like never, but I know it's a UTI. The stuff that I'm supposed to get, I don't know, but we're going to try to figure it out. Um, if you don't know, I'm like on this little natural journey low key. So what I'm getting is something natural to get, to heal UTIs. If I wasn't on this next journey, I just would have went to the doctor and got antibiotics. But like I said, I'm on this new journey. So I'm in the aisle with everything. Um, I'm looking for it. I'm trying to find it. This is my first time getting it. So I don't know exactly where it's at. Oh, this would be what I would normally use. Like, this is what my mom would give me. But like I said, I'm on more of like I breastfeed too. So I have to be on more of a natural look. I mean, natural side of everything. This is what I'm looking for. This. This right here. D-Mano's urinary support. This is basically like a sugar. I'll put the real definition of this on the screen. But this right here is exactly what I need. I think it's like $12, y'all. And since I'm in here, I'm going to get other stuff that I need to get since I'm already like in Walmart. So um, I'm going to get me some press-on nails. These are press-on nails. I bet you guys didn't know that. But I've been in my press-on nail era. So I'm going to find me some that I want over here. And then call them to unlock it because... I guess they locked the nails, child. I don't know. But let's see what they got. They need to organize this. This is hella messy. I don't want no French tip or nothing. But I want to keep them short because I had to cut these down because my baby. So let's see what we can find. Oh, this blue is cute. And I'm loving this new brand right here. They're eating down. Okay. This new brand is tea. Hey, right, look at this. I'm here for the press ons. I'm not particular particular when it comes to trash bags. So I'ma just get these right here. I can't believe I'm really walking around this Walmart looking like this. I forgot I looked like this until I turned this camera back on. That's probably why people are looking at me. Um I gotta get cranberry juice and then I need some nursing bags and then I'm done. I'm in luck because this is literally the last big cranberry right here this is the last one this is the only brand of cranberry juice you should be drinking if you're trying to get rid of any uti okay my mom is bringing me some but i need some like today and i don't know if my mom's coming today because it's the weekend and she might be out somewhere so i'm trying to find some that i can have for today i'm gonna get these right here the parent choice um breast storage bags leap proof double zip brazil reinforced seams for extra protection safe for a refrigerator and freezer it comes with 25 pre-sterilized bags it's bpa free and it's 432 this is how the box looks i'm gonna go with these um i don't know i hear people talk about mom cozy but i think it's just like i don't know i haven't had no mom cozy stuff so i don't really know but i'm gonna get these um, I don't know if y'all want a haul, but I'm gonna give y'all one. I don't really care. So I got the breast milk bags. This is how they look. Support medicine, which is D Manos, Manos, however you pronounce it. Because I don't know. I just like this blue when I went in there. So I went with blue. Garbage bags. This is self-explanatory. This thing of cranberry juice. I'm gonna drink some of this in a second. I'm washing my cup right now. This is how much milk I did this morning before I left, and it's right at five ounces so we're going to use one of these bags just because i want to okay. 
comes in a little resillable, resillable, whatever, whatever the word is, bag. This is how the bag looks, you Okay. Okay. This how much milk I got in here. I'm a pump when I get out of the shower. So I'm gonna just put this in the refrigerator. I don't know why this makes me so happy. Now let's get into this UTI baby. Hold on. Gotta pull all these things off first. Okay. Got my cup. Got my ice. take three capsules so we finna take three of them nothing's gonna happen to me if I take too many okay this is like a sugar pill go ahead and take oh what the fuck it's hard to swallow pills with juice That one ain't going out. 